We're going to look at multiplication of fractions today. We're first going to start by getting the logic and then see how to do it quickly and easily. Let's imagine that I have a cake and I've decided that I'm going to give you two thirds of my cake. What do I do? I cut it up into three pieces and I give you two of them. So there's your two thirds nicely in green. You're feeling generous and so you say that you are going to give half of those of what you've got of that two thirds you're going to give that to your little brother so let's think about what you'll give to your little brother what you will need to do is cut that in half so that you can then say okay this bit's going to my brother and this is the bit that I get to keep. Let's have that picture nice and neatly so we can talk about it. So half of two thirds will be this dark green portion over there. So half of two thirds we can see quite easily is one two pieces out of one two three four five six. So it is two out of six. In other words one half of two thirds gave me two sixths. We can see easily how to get that answer. One times two is two and two times three is six. So multiplying fractions is very easy. You just multiply the numerators together and multiply the denominators together. Okay, so now we know how to do it. We can just get the answers straight away. What is three quarters times five sevenths? Well, we multiply the numerators. Three times five gives me 15. And we multiply the denominators and we get 4 times 7, which is 28. We now see here, what can, um, can this thing be simplified at all? Well, no, it can't actually, because 15 is just made up of 5 times 3. And 3 won't go into 28 and nor will 5. So 15 over 28 is as simple as it gets. And there it is. Okay, I want you to open your um, homework book and there is this example there that you need to try. Three fifths times two ninths. Pause the video and do it quickly now in your homework book and we'll discuss it later. Okay, so the simple way is just to say three times two gives me six and five times nine gives me 45 and now i've got to go and simplify that well i can actually see there is something that can go into both of these three can go into both of these so if i divide the top by three i get two and if i divide the bottom by three i get 15. in other words i'm doing the same to top and bottom divide by three divide by three and i get two fifteenths which is my simplified version now if we're clever we can actually avoid quite a lot of extra work because if we cancel before we multiply we will end up not having to do nearly as much simplification. And believe me, sometimes the multiplying you have to do will end up being really big, horrible numbers unless you do the simplification. So let's have a look at exactly this problem again, but let's do it more cleverly. If we have three times five over two time, three over five times two over nine. We know that what we have to do is we have to multiply the numerators together and then multiply the denominators together. But we also know that when we have a fraction like this, what we do to the bottom, divide or times, we can do to the top, divide or times it by the same thing. And let's have a look right here where we are. Can you see that before I've done anything, I can see I've got a 3 in the top and I've got a 9 in the bottom. Both of them can be divided by 3. So I can go and say divide the top by 3, 
that'll just leave me with a 1. And divide the bottom by 3, that'll leave me with a 3. So I've got no problems. I'm doing exactly the same to top and bottom of my fraction. So I'm not changing anything. Then I get 1 times 2 is 2. 5 times 3 is 15. And I get my answer of 2 fifteenths. So the idea there is just to do your simplification before you do your multiplication because that will make it easier and quicker. Let's look at an example like this. There are 24 learners in my class. Three quarters of these learners are girls. How many girls are there in my class? Well, I know that three quarters of the 24 are girls. In other words, what I need to do is 3 quarters multiplied by 24. Now you should remember that I can just write any whole number as a fraction by just putting it over 1. 24 over 1 is the same as 24, just like 5 over 1 is the same as 5, 100 over 1 is the same as 100, and a million and 23 over 1 is the same as a million and 23. So we're back into the same situation that we've been in. So we can multiply top together, numerators together, multiply denominators together and get our answer. Here's one of these examples where if we actually just do the multiplication, we're going to end up with a nightmare. 3 times 24 is a big calculation to do. So let's go with my idea of, let's just say we've got 3 times 24 over 4 times 1. Now before we go and actually do all that tedious multiplication, let's see if we can cancel, because that'll make it simpler. I notice that I've got 24 at the top and 4 at the bottom. 4 can divide into both of them. And our rule for fractions is, as long as I multiply, divide the top and the bottom by the same thing, I haven't changed the fraction. So let's divide through by 4. That'll give us 1. Divide this by 4. That'll give me 6. And now I can get my answer without having to do a nightmare calculation. 3 times 6 is... 18 and 1 times 1 is 1 so I get my answer of 18 over 1 and of course 18 over 1 is just the same as 18. Okay if we need to do a multiplication and we've got mixed numbers my same rule for mixed numbers applies just turn them into improper fractions and then you'll be fine. Okay, so let's turn these into improper fractions. 3 threes are 9, plus 2 gives me 11 over 3, and uh, 2 and 2 fifths. 2 fives are 10, plus 2 gives me 12, so I have got 12 fifths. Again, big calculations if I don't do any simplification. First I'll have to do 11 times 12, and then 3 times 15, and then go and see if I can simplify at the end. Much easier if I do it first, so I just write it like this, 11 times 12 over 3 times 5, and I see, okay, can I divide top and bottom by the same thing? Well, yes, I can immediately see I can divide top and bottom by 3. That goes once, that goes 4 times, and so I will get 11 times 4 is 44, and 5 times 1 is just 5. And if I want to turn that back into a mixed number, I say 5 goes into 44 8 times, and that with 4 remaining. So it's 8 and 4 fifths. Okay, try quickly for yourself. This is in your homework books too for you to try. I would like you to do the following. I want you to do 2 and 1 third multiplied by 1 and two sevenths. Pause the video now and do it. We'll check it together. Okay, you should have got the following. You should have got 7 over 3. 2 threes are 6. 1 is 7. Multiplied by 1 times 7 is 7 plus 2 is 9. 9 sevenths. Let's just see if we can simplify before we continue. Well, this is a great simplification, right? We can divide top and bottom by 7, and we can divide top and bottom also by 3. And so our answer ends up being 1 times 3 is 3, 1 times 1 is 1, 3 over 1. And of course we know that 3 over 1 is just 
three.